after growing multiple websites to thousands of clicks, I think it's finally time that I share the SEO Chrome extensions I'm using. Because an SEO Chrome extension can really enhance the way you work with your SEO, help you write better content, and eventually help you rank better. So I've collected my eight favorite SEO Chrome extensions. And the first one is the one that I use the most, and that's Detail. That is my daily go-to SEO Chrome extension. And this one I use on specific pages where I want to see whether it's indexed, how is the title, meta description, and you can see here all the different elements that it's actually showing me because I get a quick overview of how that page is performing. It also helps me visualize the heading structure so I can easily see whether I'm following the heading structure with an H1, multiple H2s, and multiple H3s correctly. That is so important because it makes it easier for Google to crawl and understand your page. So you want to maximum have one H1, then you can have multiple H2s, but don't ever skip a heading. So don't go from an H2 to an H4, for example. That is what you can visualize here. You can also pull out elements like links, both internally and externally, and you can do the same with images. These elements I don't use that much, but I use the image feature to see whether some of the images are missing all tags. Another thing I use the detailed Chrome extension for a lot is the schema feature, because here I can see that all the schemas that are used on this specific page, what are they? Are they filled out correctly? And are they missing any information? It's super useful. I would like to have one function where I could minimize the different schemas to get an easier overview, but for now I'll do, it's super easy to use. You can also get an overview of the social tags, so you ensure that once this page might be shared on social media, that it actually is visualized correctly. And lastly, one other thing is that you can pull out people also ask questions from the SERP using detailed, where you can go multiple layers down and then export everything as a CSV file. So this is definitely a complete Chrome extension, but it is missing some elements. My second favorite SEO Chrome extension is Query Hunter. This one works both as a WordPress plugin, but also as a Chrome extension. And I'll recommend that you use the Chrome extension. Here you connect with your Google search console, and then you visit a specific page on your website that you want to rank better. Then you open the Query Hunter Chrome extension, and then you get all the information from Google search console directly in your Chrome. And the thing is that here it also shows you the different keywords or the different queries that you get impressions for, but no clicks. And often it's because you're not mentioning them at all in your content. And they also tell you that in the Chrome extension. So this is really helpful to optimize your content. Another thing they're doing is they're also showing you questions. So you can see what questions are this specific page showing up on. So you can either implement those questions or answer them better in your content. That is why this is super useful for content optimization. And it's one of the steps that I use when I optimize my content because I get so much valuable information from Google Search Console and I just get it served so easily. It also shows you the keyword where you have a low CTR and often that means that your title and meta description is not targeting that keyword. And that's completely fine if it's not your target keyword. But if you do have a low CTR for your target keyword, you might want to go in and change it. And one way you can do that is to look at the search results and see what's ranking and then get inspired from that. Don't copy and paste, but get inspired. Ubo suggests is my third favorite SEO Chrome extension. And that's because it tells me quickly in the search results what is the domain authority for the specific search results in there, but it also tells me estimated traffic. And another thing is that you can run it on your own domain to get the keywords, the backlinks, and you can also run it on your competitors to see what they are doing, what's working for them. And then it does so many great things because it also shows you the top pages based on country. So it can tell you that in the United States, these pages are performing best, but maybe in India, it's these pages that are performing best. And then whatever country you're pursuing for your target group, that is what you can use this for. It's super useful. You can also run a site audit on specific pages to get insights whether you have some issues on the page, it might be it's not indexed correctly, or you're missing some other elements. It's a super neat plugin, and I really like how easy it is to work with. And then it's just a bonus that the UI is super modern. The only downside is that you can't analyze on page level, it's only on domain level. And my fourth favorite SEO Chrome extension is Surfer SEO. If you're already using Surfer SEO, it's just even better. But this Chrome extension has a lot of great capabilities because it can show you related keywords once you're searching for a keyword on Google can come up with keyword suggestions. So 
let's say that you're targeting a specific keyword, but it might be too competitive. Then Surfer SEO can show you another version of the keyword that might be easier to target to begin with. And you can always target the primary keyword later on. It also shows you domain authority in the search results and much more. This is a lot like Uber suggests, but it works a bit different. And if you're using Surfer SEO already, then I'll recommend that you use this Chrome extension rather than Uber suggest. And number five is Webalizer. And this one is a super neat plugin. I don't use it that much, but I always use it before I analyze a website. And that's because it can tell me how this website is built. If it's built with WordPress, for example, I can see what theme they're using, what plugins are they using that are publicly available, and then I can get an idea of how the website is built. If it's not WordPress, then I can also use it to see what's the technology behind, what are they doing for their SEO efforts. This is great if you're analyzing websites for clients or you want to see what your competitors are doing, they might not be using WordPress, then Webalize is a great little tool where you can see what they're doing and basically everything behind the website. Sometimes you can also see on your own website that some JavaScript might be loading that you don't want to load, and then you can optimize your website by using this plugin. So while you won't use this as much, it's just super neat plugin that can give you a quick overview of a specific website. Number six is Redirect Path, and this one is a little bit technical because I don't know if you've ever tried to have a redirect that is simply redirecting to the wrong page or it's not redirecting at all. That might be because there are multiple redirects running and you can't really see that if you just enter the URL into Chrome or whatever browser you're using. That's why this Chrome extension is super useful because here you can see the entire path. You can see all the redirects that this specific redirect is going through. So once you enter the URL, you get an overview of all the specific pages that it's going through and often you only want it to redirect from one page to another. So if you see that multiple redirects are happening, either you have to debug it and fix it, or then you just need to change it so only one redirect is happening, both because of your crawl budget with Google, but also for the user experience. So it is affecting your rankings. Number seven is Web Vitals. And this one is super useful if you're focused on the technical asset of your website, because here you can see how fast your website is actually loading. And it's exactly like running a Google PageSpeed report. It just goes much faster because as you browse your website, then you can see the icon up in your Chrome extension bar. You can see whether it's green, yellow, or maybe completely red, and then you want to optimize it. And once you figure out that you are satisfied now, then you can go in and run a Google PageSpeed report. So this is just a nice little Chrome extension that's super useful if you're browsing your website. And the last plugin is Moss Bar. And this one I use for one specific reason, and that is to be able to search from specific locations, but also search in specific search engines. Because often you'll rank on a certain position in the United States, but a completely different position in Canada, for example. It really depends on how your website is optimized, but it also depends on the user behavior because that's also a ranking factor. So if you've written something that is super useful for the United States, then you'll rank higher and then Canadians, they might not find it as relevant because they're looking for something else. And then if you want to pursue that, then you need to change your content. And that's why this feature is so useful. And I really like using this one because it gives me an idea of how my website is ranking in specific countries that I'm targeting. So you should definitely go in and figure out which of these Chrome extensions you can use to enhance your SEO work. And if you have a Chrome extension I haven't mentioned, then let me know in the comment section what is your favorite Chrome extension. I would love to learn more. I've also made an exhaustive list of 57 SEO Chrome extensions, and there is a link down in the description below. And if you want to see how I optimize my content, then I've shared all my secrets in the video right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.